Good afternoon. We're getting lots of questions about rising COVID cases in our community. Uh, and yes, the numbers are rising. Two weeks ago in worship, Ann and I began wearing masks as part of worship. Uh, we want everyone who attends worship to feel comfortable uh, wearing masks as an effective measure of protection against both catching uh, and or possibly spreading the coronavirus. Uh, one of the reasons we wear masks, and our doctors tell me the most important reason we wear masks, is to avoid unknowingly spreading the virus and infecting those around us. It's not for ourselves, it's for, it's for others. So we wear masks not to protect ourselves, but to demonstrate Christian love of neighbor. Vaccination, of course, continues to be our most effective measure against this virus and the most effective thing you can do to protect yourself from both infection and serious illness if vaccination is something you're eligible for. So as long as this Delta variant is with us, uh, you'll see me modeling mask wearing as part of worship, and I encourage you to do the same as we work to keep one another safe and protected at Central. This Sunday in worship, we continue in our study of Ephesians. In Ephesians chapter 5, Paul encourages the faithful to be careful in how they live, saying, in effect, you only live once, so make the most of it. YOLO, you only live once, has been a popular hashtag online and a popular saying among younger generations for years now. Some use this motto as a way to encourage over-the-top, even irresponsible behavior. But Paul says we shouldn't waste our one precious life on libertinism, on foolishness and drunkenness. I tend to think that Paul is right. Instead of finding great joy in wild rebellion, we'll find our greatest joy in living faithfully together with God and with one another. Sometimes that seems like a very easy thing to do. Other times it seems nearly impossible when temptation is strong and the world is calling. The important thing, on good days and bad days, on easy days and hard days, is to remain hopeful and faithful, always striving toward wisdom and spirit-filled living, because after all, you only live once. We'll explore that idea together as we encourage one another on in worship this Sunday. We worship at 845 and 1055. I can't wait to see you then.